Another concept that's covered in section 4.2 are vertical and horizontal lines. So how do we graph those? How do we recognize what a vertical or a horizontal line look like? I mean, we know what they look like on a graph. A horizontal line goes like this and a vertical line goes like this. But how can we recognize their equations? So I have a couple examples here. In green, we have our horizontal, y equals 3, y equals negative 1. And then on the other side, we have our vertical, x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. And we'll plot those and try to help you understand um, why these are horizontal and vertical lines. So because these um, don't have any other variables that they're related to, so the y is not related to an x in this equation and the x is not related to a y in, this equa in, in these equations, what we're doing is just saying, okay, on the y-axis, we're going to go to 3. So where is 3? Well, we start at the origin and we count 3 up. Because this is a positive 3, we go up 3. So if we plot that, this is telling us where that line is crossing the graph. Okay, We haven't talked a lot about intercepts or slope yet, and we'll get into that in other sections in Chapter 4. But because this is telling us where we're crossing the graph, y equals 3. So in order for it to cross the graph, it's going to have to go horizontally. So y equals 3 just represents a horizontal line that's crossing the y-axis. So keep that in mind. Even though our y-axis is the vertical axis, um, whenever a line crosses it, it has to be horizontal, okay, if there's no slope involved. So for all of these equations, there's, there's not a slope variable that we're, lear that we're um, having to deal with yet. So we'll get into that in another section. So for y equals negative 1, so again, this tells us what axis we're going to travel. So we're going to travel the y-axis. So starting at the origin, it's a negative 1. So that means we have to go down 1. So this is where the line crosses that y-axis. So again, that would be the line represented by y equals negative 1. So whenever we have a y equals, and it's just a number, and there's no x variable with it, this is a very um, easy way to identify that it's a horizontal line. So the same is true with our vertical lines, only this time the x tells us we're going to be dealing with the x-axis. So the opposite is true. Because we're dealing with the x-axis, the x-axis runs horizontally. For a line to cross it that doesn't have a slope involved, it would have to be vertical. So x is not related to y in these equations. So x, note we're going to be starting with our horizontal axis, and equals negative 2. So starting at the origin, we're going to move left 2 units because it's a negative 2. Color that in. And then we're going to have a vertical line cross through that point. So x equals negative 2 would look like this. Now we have x equals 4, so the same applies. Start at the origin. The 4 is a positive, so we're going to move to the right 4 units on the x-axis. Mark that dot, and then just have a line cross through that dot. So these are how we can recognize our vertical and our horizontal lines, and we do want to um, understand that when we see an equation that's super simple like this, it is representing something that we can't actually graph. In these instances, we're just going to be graphing a vertical and a horizontal line.